Previously on Life is Strange 2. Hey, you know. Ah, back off. No one is going to keep me away from you. Exactly. Said... Stop. <sighs> Give me that option where I can punch the Mendo. Give me the... no. Don't. No, you know what? Forget punching him. Words. Words will do the talking. No, get up. Came all this way for you. And get nobody up. will stop me. You got that wolf oh, in you, Sean. Hell or whatever if I need You got that wolf in Sean! you, bro. Nah. Must learn. Nah. We came a long way. We came a long way, bro. We came a long way, bro. Listen. I know. I wasn't a great brother. I was an asshole. I should have never agreed to do that heist. We're brothers. To hell We're brothers, you. bro. Our blood link was the most important. El familia. No. Please. Oh, no. Leave him alone, damn it. El familia. Listen to him. El familia, bro. El familia. El familia. Get up, Sean, bro. Stop. No matter what she does. No matter what. I'll come right back, again, and again. again. Exactly, brotherhood. Brotherhood never dies, bruh. I love you, Daniel. I do too. You started this fire. You will all burn in this hell. This is your fault. Your. Sean. Wait, Daniel. She really did try to use me. She hurt you! She's back! Don't do it. Don't. Look what she's done to you! Answer me! She manipulates everyone! She deserves it. No. I'm not gonna let Daniel get it through. No way. What's good everybody, it's your boy Incredible Mr. T and in this video ladies and gentlemen we will be playing the final episode of Life is Strange 2. So guys in the last video a lot has happened since the whole incident you know from episode 3 and we managed to save Daniel from a church, well a cult. I wouldn't call that a church, bro. That was that, that gave me more of like a cult vibe than a church. I ain't gonna lie. But hey, at the end of the day, we saved Daniel. We killed well, I forgot her name, Lisbeth. Yeah, I think that was her name, Lisbeth. And now, oh, also, I forgot to mention that both Sean and Daniel met their mom, uh, Karen, and now they are on their final journey to Mexico. So yeah, man, it's crazy how far. Sean and Daniel has come, you know, they've, they've, I mean, they started from Seattle, now they made it all the way, you know, so, it's crazy, it's crazy, you know, I'm a, I'm a bit hesitant to play this episode, but I do hope that, you know what I'm saying, we manage to make the right choices, and also, you know, we get a good ending, so, yeah, man, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys sit back and enjoy the video. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south 
to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the Wolf Brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world. But danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage, but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up. After all that time, she said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So the big brother had to kill her so they could escape. The wolf brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo. Life is Strange 2 is a story based game that highlights player choice. Your actions and decisions will have consequences and impact the world around you and your brother. So choose wisely. Oh my god. Episode 5. The final episode of Life is Strange 2. What's about to happen? We're in Arizona, seven weeks after the events at Haven Point. Up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. Oh, where's your mom? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nano. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. Always. No, but high key, what happened to Karen? So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? No, I just. 
Just think about what happened. Mm. I do too. No, her or us. No, I do too. I do too. But she was going to hurt you and kill me. I know, dude. That was scary. She got what she deserved. Do you... feel bad about it? Uh... Do I feel bad? Do I feel bad about killing her? No, I mean, she was gonna, she was gonna kill them all, bro. Nah. No. I thought I would, but... Fuck that. Good. I'm kinda glad she's dead. Sean. Are we criminals now? No. No, we're not. No way. We did exactly what we had to. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. I won't let them get us. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Inano. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Yeah, I can tell you. Oh. Yeah, I can tell you. <sighs> been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So... Thanks to their mama wolf, the Wolf Brothers barely escaped from the Coyote Cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the Red Desert. The Wolf Brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, Lied. The evil chupacabra. And they would have to fight it together. Uh, um, excuse me. Who's telling the story? <laughs> you are. But it's my story too. Right? Mm. Right. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Okay, okay then. True. So what happens next? Uh, okay. So the Wolf Brothers encounter the evil Chupacabra. And he attacks them. He's very dangerous. But the little wolf uses his powers to crush him. They arrive in the magic land as heroes. Because they have defeated the beast. Okay, Stephen King Jr. <laughs> you win. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. This place is too pretty. <laughs> it's like we're right there. Mm. Oh. Damn, we don't have much anymore, huh? Okay. Hey, hey, yeah, 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 let's draw. Ooh, sketching time. Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Hmm. Almost. That's so cool. I don't want you to stop drawing. Ever. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is so cool. Hey, 
Can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the canyon. Hmm. I can try. Yeah, a better superhero. Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Oh, yeah. Now that's a badass superhero you don't want to mess with. Hmm. Okay, yeah, let's pick this up. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. Mm. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. <sighs> Stop. Daniel. <laughs> Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. You're no fun. Hmm. All right. The soda. Yo, Captain Can. Can you take these away? Sure. And no funny business. Of course not. Perfect formation. I'm not gonna lie, though. I wonder, I wonder, like... How exactly Daniel got his powers? Because they didn't really like properly explain. Activate flashlight. On the way. Okay. Uh, is there anything else that Daniel can do with his powers? Nope. Okay, cool. Pack. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah, right. Mm. I'm glad we had these. Not a fan of desert critters. Yeah. We made the right choice taking the sleeping bag. My back hurts a little. Episode. I'm glad we're sleeping in our bed tonight. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. What are you doing? Uh, no time to play. Dude, we don't have time to play. Come on, let's go. <sighs> okay, okay. Okay, let's get on out of here then. I wish we saw more falling stars. Or any. <laughs> Page 24, we saw the Milky Way. Hey, we saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Where's Mars. Going, bro? That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. <laughs> yeah, these guys are real cool. Oh, he was going the right way. Didn't Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here. Not hide it. Yeah, Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Amazing that anything can grow out right here. Does it ever rain in the desert? Well... Oh. Uh... Good question. 
Anyway, I wonder. what I was saying is, Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? Uh... Um, she doesn't care. Maybe she just doesn't care. You think? Karen... is kind of like that. Like a hippie. She just goes with the flow, man. It's all good. She's weird like us. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah. Come on, bro. Let's go, bro. My lids are gonna be like yours after all this hiking now. Tch. I'm really glad that Daniel's getting a hang of his hey, powers. You know who I'd see having a trailer out here? <laughs> who? <laughs> Brody. He'd love it. Like, he could have his own radio station and everything. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. It would be so cool to have him around. <laughs> I miss him sometimes. Oh, shit. That was not Looks like a job for our local super psychic boy. Yo, Jedi. Jedi Knight. Yeah, come use, use your force, bruh. So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. Easy peas. <laughs> nice man. They live in a trailer park now. <sighs> Life is Strange 2, Episode 5, Wolves. see what Joanne is doing. <laughs> Go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10-4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. Oh, man. Sorry. I was gonna eat with Joanne. Over and out. 10-4. No flying pancakes today. Oh. Oh. Excuse me. Water boy. <laughs> Did you remember to feed the crops? Stuff like she can. Uh, maybe in Mexico. Oh, yeah. We can grow a lot of stuff there. We could also try to be self sufficient when we're in Mexico. Yeah, let me pick it up. Grab a souvenir. Dude, we could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Yeah, but then everybody would freak out. Plus, 
You can't do food coloring out here. Daniel's nice mess. <laughs> Daniel will never change. Hmm. It's nice to play games with Daniel again. <laughs> Karen likes to join us too. Old gift. Still can't believe she's kept it. <laughs> Looking at this place, I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. <laughs> Literally. Stanley and Arthur's house. We watched a French cooking show with them the other day. <laughs> Stanley is such a tech nerd. Morning, Sean. Morning, guys. Look at that. I thought there was only vultures in the desert. Uh, give telescope back. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Uh, she visits a lot. Does she come visiting often? <sighs> Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. But you know, well, some parts of the year this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. Never get bored. So, don't you ever get bored? Being out here is a big change. We do sometimes. We're in a desert. I miss the parks, cafes, shopping. But this place is something else. And we feel safe out here. If you could have seen me as a family man a few years ago, I had everything but nothing. Now I have nothing but everything. Thanks to this one. <sighs> After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna see what Daniel's up to. Thanks for the desert, Brew. <laughs> These two remind me of Claire and Steven. You know hey, Sean! What were you doing at Arthur and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. Uh, oh, you're a stalker. What the fuck? You are a stalker. <sighs> Knock it off. What? Just because I noticed things doesn't mean I'm a stalker. Hey. <laughs> Artist, come by Joanne's place. We're making wild sculptures. <laughs> Hold up. I'll be over in a minute. Right. 
<laughs> These guys are like social directors here. I still love to party. Alright, uh... Where is Sean, bro? Artwork. Sculpture. We helped Joanne set up this giant vacuum with binoculars, as David calls it. Love the energy out here, with everyone building stuff as they please. Movie theater. Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You missed Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> Karen and Joanne spend evenings playing and chatting. <sighs> kind of like me and Lila. Back in the day. Ish. Joanne can throw a total rager out here. But without asshole neighbors. This place is the ultimate playground for Daniel. Joanne says she needs all this junk to grow inspiration from. There's power cuts all the time here. But no one's really bothered by it. Hey, bro, there's so many stuff to look at. I love how they recycle everything into art, construction, or agriculture here. What's oh, up, Joanne? Daniel. See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. That child is something special. Yeah. I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. Uh... Yeah, I mean, just doodles. <laughs> I don't know. It's just... doodles and shit. No big yeah. deal. I thought my sculptures were shit, too compared to all the dope stuff that was being done. But every artist is fucking unique, Sean. We all got something to bring to the world. Why are you here? Always an artist. I'm not an artist. No, always an artist. Did you always want to be an artist? <laughs> Good grief, no. I tried very hard not to be one. Till I realized it was useless. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. <laughs> it's not always easy, but in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of... I mean, that's true. Do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh... I don't know if I can. <laughs> yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? Alright, sure. <sighs> okay. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but mm. go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Okay. I'm guessing here it's a puzzle, isn't it? Uh, let me look. So it's that, the ball, that, that, that. Okay. So it's the ball. That metal head, metal arm, the ball. Okay, let me look at it again. So it's that, the ball, 
metal what what ready metal sean life. wait chill 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 okay so it's that wait one more time no i can see from here so it's the arm also it's the ball first then the arm maybe that's supposed to represent the earth or a ball Yeah. Okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch the Be careful, Daniel. Don't want you to get hurt. Oh, right. you should totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. And then it's that spider looking one. Okay, cool. It's you. Looks like a freaking steampunk spider. Now, let's throw on that spider. Check it out! <laughs> and then, last and not certainly least, this metal head. Hmm. Now... Let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. You got it. There we go. All right. Uh, finished sculpture. feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. <laughs> you did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. <laughs> that was fun. Joanne is so oh, chill about her oh, art. Oh. That's what makes her talented. I bet you would like Minecraft. It, it, it's kind of like this. Yeah, I've read about it. It's a, a video game, right? Yes, and you can build whatever you want in it. Ooh, you have to show me then. Precarious patriot, shrouded in dust. Oh, do I have to talk to Joanne? You okay, Joanne? Yeah, as fine as frogs here, sweetie. I, I like to take a good look at a piece after I'm done working on it. Uh, it helps me connect with it. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me be a part of it. Oh, thank you, Sean. See you around, hon. All right, uh... Wait for Karen to come back. Oh, wait. Mm. Okay, where do I wait for Karen? Joanne's RV. Glad to see that artists are allowed to make a mess. That's the beauty of it, man. That's the beauty of it. I'm guessing I'm supposed to wait for Karen in the caravan? No matter what happened before, Karen did hook us up here. That counts. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Super Wolf to the Silver Runner. Copy, I hit something super cool for you to find. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? I mean, sure, I guess. 10-4. <laughs> okay, you're on it, Anno. Yes. Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So, for the first item is near the place with many wings. 
That cannot fly. Mini wings. That's your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside. Okay. Many wings that cannot fly. I was about to pick this sculpture, but... Warm. Oh, I'm warm. Oh, shit. Okay. Way cold. Cold. Okay. But I'm warm. We helped Joanne set up a giant vacuum with binoculars, as David calls it. No, you're totally frozen. Damn, you're totally frozen. But I'm warm, though. Warming up. Warming up. Okay. Going to that bird. I'm cold. Uh. Okay, let's go over here. Getting closer. Oh, oh, oh! Getting closer, huh? You don't shit where you sleep, kid. <laughs> okay, David. Thanks for the explanation. Okay. You think I'm getting close? Getting. Alright, getting closer. I'ma find it. Bro. Not too far. Not too far, huh? Okay. Now we're gonna find it, bruh. Nope. As cold as ever. Damn. Okay. Okay, so wait, something that something that has wings but cannot fly. You're in the middle zone. Oh, there we go. Ahoy, matey. I found a map. Of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh huh. Sure. Something that eats the sun. Wait, I think I got it. I think. Wait, what is that? Getting warm. Huh. <laughs> you think they picked this up at the gas station? Wonder where he's at now. <laughs> now that's some real patriots. Wonder where he's at now. <laughs> he could write our whole story. Okay. Warm. Oh, I'm warm. Not too far. Mm. Way cold. Too cold. Okay, calm. Look at that. I thought there was only vultures in the desert. Fireworks? No. Getting closer. Arthur and Stanley cannot wait for the 4th of July. <sighs> Me neither. Getting closer, you see. Nope. As cold okay. as ever. Wait. Nah, I'm not gonna not ask for help. Too far. Warming up. Daniel's drawings. Hey, your Captain Spirit drawing was awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Wish I could show it to Chris. Do you think he could visit us down in Puerto Lobos? Uh. Yeah. Why not? Yep. Let's make it happen. Mm -hmm. Getting warm? No, okay, I'm, I'm getting warm. So, wait. Getting closer. Okay, I think I know where it is. 
the corp the crops it's gotta be the crops no it's not the crops i thought it would be the crops <laughs> you're in the middle zone getting warm oh so sol solar panels oh man you're right there just look around pretty smart you're never gonna run out of sun in the desert I mean, doesn't solar panels eat the sun? Well, kind of. Just drop it! You're here! Wait, I'm here! Nigga. It's close, Sean! Oh, there! So I was right. The solar panel. Okay. So. Uh, let's buy the cars. Bro, this kid's drawing is kind of accurate, but not really. Okay, so I go down, I go left, and then by the car wreckage, I'll find the treasure. <laughs> Found it! Nice! And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Yeah! Ahoy, matey! I think I have the whole treasure map. Captain, now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Hope you know where to go. <laughs> That's a cool ass map you drew, dude. Thanks. Chris told because me everything about treasure hunting. Oh man, beach. you're right there. Just look around. Yeah, I know. Somewhere. You're warm. Junk. Grips. You're way out there, dude. You were so close. Go back. Okay, I was so. Just grab it. You're here. My nigga. But there's nothing to interact around. No. Can't be. It's close, Sean. My nigga. Just grab it. Oh, there. You're Treasure. Alright. Ooh. Looks like something's buried here. Yes. Hey, I, I think I have treasure. found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah. I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. Looks like gold, right? Um... <laughs> I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Store! You know what time it is. Victory! Dance time! Hey, sh hold up. Hey. Come on, dance! Uh, let, me, let me dance with the boys. Hey, hold up. Hey. <laughs> yeah! Creep walk. You asked for it. Alright. Okay. Oh, I think you're spotting Mom's truck coming back. Hmm. Yes, 100% her. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. Alright. With her truck. Yeah, a car coming. A vehicle, actually. Oh, there she is. This is such a weird fucking place. But that's what's cool about it. Hey. Glad to see you survived the night in the desert. Going to that small town for supplies always bums me out. Reminds me of my hometown. 
Ah, oh, yeah. Beaver Creek, Oregon, right? Yeah. <sighs> Looks like Karen is back I from town. I that you lived in Oregon, too. Maybe she needs Small my help. Small town America. If you're not careful enough, it can make your life small, too. Trust me. I know. You gotta change these water tanks one day. These ones aren't fit to survive the climate apocalypse. <laughs> Still fitter than us. Hey, cool. Let me, uh... Hey, what's up? Hey, good morning. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people Why look at us he... as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> Why the does deserters he have like returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? Amazing. <sighs> it was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom! How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast! Whoa! Yes! Thanks, David! <laughs> you wanna play catch, Danny boy? Totally! David. Me and Dad always used to play. Wait! But I'm it way is better Chloe's now. dead! No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a oh, kid no. and play. Yeah, Daniel yeah, hasn't been like this in forever. Crazy. You've all been a good influence Looks on like him. A whole About person. time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. <laughs> nah, been a while since Daniel's been afraid of animals or anything. He knows he's the bigger threat. You're right, and he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> You boys have been here over a month, and I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> ...skills. Are you scared? Um... Does that kind of scare you? Me? Goddamn right it does. Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy, but... ...he listens to me. Maybe I even fucked him up more. Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me. Combat was easier. Uh, uh, how many kids? Oh, you didn't tell me you had kids. How many? <laughs> None. I was a stepdad. Or, in her case, a step douche. <laughs> I'm divorced yeah. now. But I never had the chance to do the right thing for my stepdaughter before she died. We were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. Anyway, you can't go back. Nope. Unfortunately. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Oh. <laughs> okay, time out. Oh my God. I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom! Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done Bruh. out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Karen. <laughs> Just be you and I know. 
I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. That's smart that everybody takes turns shopping. Hmm. Birthday candle. Daniel's Big Ten late birthday party made him feel so happy. Hope my crops will make it. I'm glad. Karen has been camping in her own house since we arrived. That woman is amazing. Name tag. Either Karen was desperate for a job, or she loved working with kids. Happy World Resort, Florida, Karen, 40th anniversary summer. Whoa. I hope Karen sends this to Claire and Steven. Hey, hi mom and dad, I've been thinking about this letter for a while and I know it's been a long, long time coming. So I'm sitting here tonight thinking about the words I should have written 10 years ago. Uh, you always used to say everything happens for a reason. We thought about it then. I understand why now. There is a reason. I feel like I have to reach out to you both tonight from the desert. I know you've only heard from me once by phone and six times by letter. For almost a decade i'm sorry i didn't mean to hurt you and i was certainly not trying to punish you like you told me don't laugh but i just didn't know what to say or write poets uh block just like how you had to block me from your life after i let Esben. i understand that was how you had to deal with uh, a problem child and only child who didn't live up to your expectations. There's no denying that I failed you, but the burden weight of your uh, aspirations as parents failed me too. Uh, you had such a rigid opinion of what I was supposed to be that I just didn't have the chance, opportunity to, uh, to explore who I actually was. I wanted a daughter to grow up happy I mean, you wanted a doc. You wanted a daughter to grow up happy, find a good job and great husband, settle down to breed, have kids and raise them in faith to continue the cycle of uh, suburbia. That daughter wasn't me. I know. I know that you were raised in a different time and culture, so I didn't understand your point of view. Like you didn't understand your wayward daughter. Maybe a bridge too far for us at the time. After Danny was born, you knew I wanted to take a break sometime to figure things out in my head and heart. It didn't make sense to you or dad. And I get that, but you didn't see how I was so desperate and only uh, Esteban was willing to give me that time because he saw how unhappy I was. I don't blame you for my decision to leave and maybe a timeout would have led to the same outcome. We will never know and I try not to live in regret. My life has been a roller coaster and there have been times I longed to hear your voice and thoughts, even the negative ones. And I know when I just talked to you in New York to ask for help in paying back my debts, you wanted to help. But it was on your condition to return right back to where I couldn't return. I hate that. I hate that was our last conversation. I am sorry I reached out to you this day. I am sorry I broke your hearts. I am sorry I let you broke. I let you broke mine for silencing me for so long. I think we've paid our dues. And now I sit under a blue field of crystal stars like the poet. I hope I am writing and waiting for a chance to rebuild an old bridge with my mother and father. I hope we can cross it one more time. Love your daughter. Damn. That's a deep letter. She's really good at 
rewriting her own life. I am a solo Mobius strip. Just when I reach the end, I go back to the beginning, resign myself uh, to new faces, the privileges to escape and rewrite another draft. Goddess loves at plants, then shows me the page left unmarked for years. Out in the ghost desert, the seeds return as saplings to reveal their agent power. Now I go back forward layered with fear and hope to water the children of the sun. Feels like 100 degrees in that fucking trailer. 105 degrees out here. Karen must have been so excited to finally hit New York. Fly by night, not by flight, into the big city bright stop. That cliche never dying in the steel of the buildings, the rap of the street. But no matter what or where I spin, the pool of a million dead poets takes me to dance once again. Go, but this time I get to lead until the next flight. Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Hmm. Damn. Hard times. She really was unhappy. Maggie and Karen, summer 11. Group picture. Looks like they all finally found their home. Hmm. Jacob's letter. I'm so glad Jacob and his sister are doing okay. They deserve Damn. some peace. May 29th, 2017. Hola, Sean. Sorry I did not write to you sooner, but this was the first time I've had a chance to relax after we got out of Haven Point. Thanks to you and your brother. Excuse me. I still can't believe it really happened. So bizarre. Sarah Lee and I do miss our parents, but we're not ready to let them know where we are where we are yet. We will figure it out later. With the money you gave me, I could pay a month rent in advance for a room in a small beach town on the coast. Sarah Lee loves it. She's much better now thanks to the antibiotics. We're doing great. The most important thing to me is my sister, just like your brother. You are lucky to have each other, and we are blessed. Uh, you both came our way. I'm trying to track down our Humboldt crew, so I'll keep you posted. I hope everybody is okay after that night on the farm. We all deserve a break and a bright future. Please let me know when you make it to the other side. You and Daniel got this. Take care, Jake. Nah, man. Shout out to Jacob. Nah. Shout out to Jacob. He's a real one for that. Oh, pancakes. Yeah, let's eat some pancakes. One thing Claire and Karen have in common. Their love for pancakes. I do remember Karen would drown her pancakes in hot sauce. Ugh. Gross. Yeah, what? That's crazy. Uh, our bed. So good to have a home. Again. I don't know you wanna bed. call Lila, bro. Karen's tabs. Sean's tabs. Wait, hold on. Uh, VHS tape. What's this? I Dad was an absolute fan of this movie. Cabras. From outer space. Huh. Maybe they were nerds together. Sneak Clem. I wish Karen didn't tell me she got a rattlesnake out of the toilet last week. Okay. Uh Sean's tabs. What's that? Prody's so good at describing painful situations. Hey bro, this and no seeing the good into it. Yeah, no, nah, I'm sorry, bro. We miss you too, Lila. Wait, what's this? Always. Uh, Lila Park. 
me during the day all good under control me at 3 a.m in my bed ah lila uploaded a new picture free the families lila park uploaded a new picture my my birthday baby wait my birthday baby bro daniel diaz missing not forgotten i'll make a wish for you damn Nah, shout out, man. Shout out to Lila. Karen's tabs. Had no clue there was a network of seed pirates. Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. Uh, Must pay better than poetry. Hi, Karen. Thanks for your last advice column. We got quite a response and a lot of hits. I know you don't want a social media footprint, but you could generate a lot of clicks with your insights looking forward to your next piece please make sure to send your invoice for may and june best ariane claim uh managing editor desert life weekly all right let's use the usb key whoa i should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago math homework movies and stuff drawings other crap pictures uh, Misty Mice Tickets PDF. Hey, Dad. Damn. R.I.P. Sean's dad, man. Lila always knew how to crack me up. Wish. Uh, check USB key. Whoa. Oh. I should. Lila always knew how to crack me up. Use USB. Whoa. Lila always knew how to crack me up. Right. What's, what's the objective? Oh, nothing. So like, I can leave, right? Ish, wait, but Karen, th letting us invade her space. <sighs> After all these years. That's something. Brody, we miss you too, Lila. Always. I think I've seen everything. I have to admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather. Sometimes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? Uh, it's another world. Everybody's cool. Uh, it's another world. This place is like another world. Don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> I think you just did. It has a unique atmosphere. That's why people come here from all over the country. For their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. Mm, you live as outcasts. So peaceful here. It is so peaceful out here. Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes, I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. I couldn't live here. How did you find this place? So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone. Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but... Her name is still written all over this place. <laughs> well... Thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. By the way, can you grab your evil little bro so we can all talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf? We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? 
Sure. I mean, 10 4. <laughs> Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. Should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man. I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <clears throat> <sighs> Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. Then you'll pass me up. <sighs> Guys, check this out. Now this is nature's art. It's so big. And pretty. And so quiet. Except for the birds of prey. Shh. Listen. Serious? If we're lucky, yeah. Beautiful. Oh! 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 Uh oh! I hear a wolf. Better be careful of hunters out here. Oh, whatever. The wolf brothers aren't afraid of any hunter. Exactly. You must hide all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but that's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Uh, usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. <laughs> I bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. So, hey. I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. Uh, got to know you better. You helped us a lot. Nah, you helped us a lot. <laughs> you actually helped us. You gave us a place to recharge and lay low. No kidding. I was so beat down after Haven Point. <sighs> I know. This is the best place to take some time for yourself. You don't get that chance very often in life. Just know I love both of you so much. I know you had it rough lately, but it'll be better when you're settled. Um, you could come with us. <clears throat> By the way, uh, if you wanted to, you could come with us to Mexico. That would be cool. I would love to come see you settled into a new home. You're almost there. But 
But... There we go. I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Mm. Well... Figures. This can last forever. So... This is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh! I love those things! What's that? Cool. Let's light up the sky. Beautiful scenery. Ah, now it's time to head to Mexico.